Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. We back at it again, man. It's on a it's on a Tuesday morning, and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and I think a piece of that hurricane is about to come come through and put some rain on Atlanta. So I'm trying to hurry up and get to work early, man. So I ain't got to drive through no torrential rains. But I'm out here, man, because I want to talk to you guys about something. To Share some knowledge, drop a little wisdom. You know how I like to do. And here it is, guys. Whatever gets punished, we stop doing that thing. But whatever gets rewarded, we keep doing that thing. Let me repeat that. Whatever we do that gets punished, we stop doing it. It, it goes down a lot. Like, you don't do that as much. But when you get rewarded for doing something, you do more of that. This is just some common knowledge that we have to pretty much put in the back of our mind when it comes to motivating others, motivating ourselves, dealing with your kids, all kind of stuff like that. You can use this information to almost program yourself. So for instance, when you have something good that happens to you, and then you throw a party or you go out and you have a good time in celebration, that's a good thing because what you're training your mind to do is to celebrate after the big win. Since celebrating feels good, now you wanna repeat the big win. It's the same thing when it comes to negative experiences. If you have a negative experience and then you sit there and you complain to other people and you, you know, you're, you're just, kind of just wallowing in your own misery and you just want so many people to feel sorry for you and it's like yeah this is what happened to me and <laughs> now I'm so upset and it's not fair and uh, see these things actually feel good to have somebody tell you it's gonna be okay man don't worry about it you'll be just fine people to tell you that it feels good well what happens is I think subconsciously you end up wanting to repeat negative behavior that will make others feel sorry for you all this is very deep guys and it goes a lot of it is mental it goes it goes straight through to your subconscious mind and your subconscious thinking you know we want to celebrate we want to celebrate the wins we want to downplay the losses if you lose if you try something and don't succeed, give yourself some time. Yeah, you wanna accept it and say, you know what, I screwed up. It didn't work out the way I thought it would and I could make some excuses, but don't nobody wanna hear that. I am the reason why it didn't work out. Some kind of way, I did something that, that, that could have solved this problem. It's very important to do that sometimes. Now, sometimes it may not be your fault. You may not have anything to do with it. But oftentimes, there is something that you can do. What you're doing is taking control of the situation. And once you're able to do that, and to do that often when negative things happen in your life, when you're able to accept responsibility, and I'm gonna take it even a step further, when you're able to reflect when you can sit down and think back on stuff and be like, yeah, you know what? When I did this or didn't do that and the result was this and that and that's why I'm in the situation I'm in now. When you can do that, that shows a lot of maturity. That shows that you are maturing as an adult. When you're able to accept responsibility and reflect back on the mistakes you made so that you don't make them in the future. Now, this is common sense, I know. But a lot of times, common sense ain't so common. We heard that plenty of times. Success is not what you think, guys. What we watch on TV, man, a lot of that is advertisements, marketing. You know, it's not real. Real success, and I've seen real success, guys. And I've seen it in my life. Obviously, I'm still on the upward climb but I've seen it in other people's lives. A lot of times it's just very incremental change over time. Just small changes, like going up some steps. 
You're not jumping over five, six steps. I mean, sometimes people jump over five, six steps, but that's rare. What you want to do, man, is just take one step at a time. Because you're going up, up, remember? All progress is good progress, guys. And half the battle, man, is just understanding, you know what? I'm taking full responsibility of my life, what happened. Um, I'm facing and accepting things as they come. Um, you know, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I'm taking account of how I feel. And I'm taking responsibility. I'm the owner of my life. I'm responsible for my life. Nobody's gonna take care of me. Nobody's going to help me. If anything, you need to be looking at it like, I'm gonna be called on to help other people. And a lot of you guys already know this. You might already be in a situation where you're the breadwinner. People are looking to you to get things done. They're looking to you to provide. Don't nobody know what to do, they are looking at you. You gotta embrace that, man. Especially my men out there. My guys, we gotta embrace that, bro. Ain't no complaints, cause it ain't no help. You complaining, who you complaining to? Ain't nobody listening. Nobody's listening. You gotta help yourself. Take full responsibility, man. You know what I mean? We accept full responsibility. That just is what it is, man. That's how you get it. That's how you get it done. That's how you become successful. It's very, very simple. Once you start accepting full responsibility for all your actions and your outcomes. I didn't say nobody else's outcome. You ain't gotta accept responsibility for somebody else's outcome, guys. That's tough. That's, that's a heavy burden to carry right there. I'm talking about your own personal outcome and that of your family and your children. Be responsible, man. This is Malcolm here on Malcolm Talks. Let it sink in for a little while. Stop all the complaints. Bite your tongue whenever you think about complaining about anything. Just stop. It's going to take some adjusting. It's going to take a little period of adjustment. But once you do it, once you start realizing what I'm saying, your whole life is going to start changing. You'll be like, damn, things are kind of smoothing out. Things are getting a little bit better. It's because you're taking personal responsibility for your life. So comment down below, man. What do you think? I don't want to hear no excuses in the comments about, oh, this and that and the third. Nah, man. Sit down, reflect, think about what you can do to make your situation better. There's always something you can do, guys. But I'm going to holler at you guys next time, man. Y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, y'all make it a great day. And if you're from New Orleans, man, I hope y'all straight, man. Uh, that hurricane came through there with a vengeance. I hear it's a lot of people still without power. So I'm praying for y'all, man. Peace. I'm going to holler at you next time.